Good afternoon, Solution Tree audience members and potential and future FETC conference members. So today we're coming to you to interview one of our incredible Solution Tree authors, Dr. Nathan Lang Rad. And he's gonna be speaking at the FETC, but in this interview today, we wanted to cover a couple big points. One, we wanted to talk about his many Solution Tree books, his session at FETC, which we're super stoked about, a future, uh, some future things that we'd like to speak to. And then again, I would love for us to highlight Global PD Teams, our learning platform at Solution Tree, because Dr. Nathan uh, Langrad is actually embedded into our platform and he is one of our featured authors and associates. So we're so excited to be able to share that with you. So Dr. Nathan, how are you doing today? Jocelyn, I'm doing so great. It's so wonderful, as always, to be here with you today. Happy to chat with you. Happy to chat about the FETC sessions and also uh, the books. Okay, great. So your session at the FETC conference is integrating technology into the classroom authentically, thoughtfully, and strategically. So what makes you most excited about presenting this session? You know, Jocelyn, there has always been a push really in the past couple of decades around technology in the classroom and how to best leverage technology in education. And I, I think this session really gets me excited because we shift the focus from this kind of one answer or this silver bullet in education because we know there is no silver bullet in education. Right. We're trying to shift that conversation to it goes so much deeper than just the what. It really is about the how and the why and the when. And yeah. one other thing that I'm really excited about is I'm going to be co-presenting with a school leader, a superintendent who has successfully integrated technology in their district and has had a lot of success with implementation, um, with getting buy-in and with seeing results. So that'll be really um, great to just kind of practically share some things that work, um, how they work, why they work, when they work, all those are the questions that go along with making it a richer conversation. That sounds literally fantastic. So what can our already audience members expect walking away? Like what are their tangibles walking away from your session? I think they walk away with some strategies that they can immediately implement into their district, even if they are a building level administrator or a classroom teacher or a district level administrator, there's going to be opportunities to make application to your unique role. So um, I think going in with an open mind about um, how technology can help illuminate the role of the educator, I think it's really important to make sure that we are talking about how the educator's role is really um, expanded and enhanced with technology, and then mm -hmm. how these strategies can apply to any educator, regardless of the technologies used in the classroom. That's exceptional. So exciting. I know that our audience members are really looking forward to your session. So I would love to talk more around your journey to becoming an author. So yeah. what was your journey like? It's so interesting uh, that you ask, Jocelyn. You know, I never planned on or I thought, you know, in my teenage years or even in college that I was going to be an author or um, really just have a career around writing about education. Uh, but, you know, I think if I were to back up a little bit and say what really started my journey was when I was in college, I actually was going to be a meteorologist. I was going to be a weatherman on TV, but the local university that I attended did not offer meteorology. So I chose the closest degree area to meteorology, which was a chemistry education degree. And then the plan was going to be, I would get my degree in that. I wouldn't really use the teaching part of that credential. And then I would just go get my master's in meteorology. Well, going through the program and starting to work with students in the lab, at chemistry labs as a part of yeah. my program, it was just such a wonderful experience being able to help fellow students. And I think my own intrinsic curiosity, my own passion and love for science was even, um, I guess, more enhanced when I saw other people start to embrace that love of science and learning. So that was my first kind of journey into I guess really the beginning into education. So became a teacher, a principal, and then eventually ended up at district office where I was working with instructional coaches and 
we had so much work to do at a district level at a large urban district. And we had a lot of change initiatives that we were working through. And so through that process, and we had a lot of success. And so through that process, I think there was a point where I was reflecting and thought, you know what, just like back in the chemistry days where we, I was helping fellow colleagues with chemistry labs, I would love to be able to share my experience working with phenomenal instructional coaches and how we were able to do what we did. So that was really kind of my journey into authoring and being able to reflect along with my colleagues. And that's exactly how I view my writing is here's some sharing experiences, sharing things that have worked for me and then what's yeah. worked best. And then being able to offer opportunities for colleagues just to connect and reflect alongside. That's incredible because you have had such a, just an incredible journey through the educational, you know, career. I mean, you've done pretty much, you've done it all. And I think that that, you know, lends itself to supporting school leaders and teachers and instructional coaches, support staff, pretty much anyone in the educational sector, you know, when you've done it, you know, you've been in the trenches, you get it. And, you know, that leads me to speaking to, you know, you have numerous incredible books with us. One, you've even partnered with Marzano, who is, I mean, just as, you know, well-known, world-renowned, and, you know, you had an opportunity to partner with Marzano and even craft and write your own everyday instructional coaching, which is behind you. Um, so all of those books really have a common theme. And that is just like you said, supporting everyone in, in the support staff and in the teaching staff in instructional, strong instructional protocols, strong instructional strategies. And I know that you've done the work, but where did you get that passion from? Like, when did that light bulb hit where you're like, I really need to hone in on this avenue of how I support, you know, my, my leadership bench? How did you really dig in there? How did you decide to do that? Yeah, great question. I, I think really, Jocelyn, it really was a, a series of progressive steps. Like, I, I don't think there was kind of one defining moment where I thought this is it. I do think, I mean, if I look back in my career, being able to help my students and thinking about um, the kind of project-based learning yeah. uh, style of classroom that that I was able to um, kind of facilitate with my students and looking at that and, and saying, how can we best engage students? And then working with instructional coaches and working at district office thinking, how do we best support teachers? So I think it really was a series of steps. And I think each one, you know, got, gave me more, um, I guess, um, enthusiasm and excitement to help keep supporting and keep supporting because we saw growth and we thought, okay, if we saw growth in this area, can we continue to travel down this road and, and keep growing and keep sharing these best practices that we've learned and picked up? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, just from hearing you speak, Nathan, and just hearing your journey and your experiences, I do hear that you truly are servant, like everything is serving your community, serving your school level community, and also too, you know, you supporting others in their professional journey, which is, you know, really a, a lead in for our, you know, learning platform too, you know, global PD teams that we offer at Solution Tree. It's a learning platform that really supports individually everybody in the school and the district level and in their own professional development and their own professional journey. And, you know, if you look, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen really quick. We have eight learning platform or eight learning pathways, and all of these pathways allow individuals to seek resources at their own accord. One thing that I think is so fantastic is, and I've already bookmarked this, is we have Nathan's books. We have the book that he co-authored with Marizano, which was The New Art and Science of Teaching Math, and we also have his book, Everyday um, coaching. And so 
I think the everyday instructional coaching really, all you have to do is type in his name here. And we have all of his reproducibles that he included with his book. And his book is not only impactful, but the deliverables, what you can draw down by using and subscribing to our platform is really going to help you to facilitate, you know, what does strong instructional protocols and practices look like for your coaches, for your school leaders, and even teachers can benefit from this. So again, you know, the possibilities are endless when you tap into global PD teams and, you know, you have the opportunity to see more of Nathan's work embedded into um, our platform. So I'm going to go ahead and I would love for you to just give them a little teaser about the new book that they can be expecting. I mean, just exceptional, Nathan, in 2023. So what can you tell us about your new book coming up? Well, first, I have to say thank you for sharing the Global PD and, and sharing my resources, instructional coaching, um, it, everyday instructional coaching. It really is focused on the kind of the why, the how, the when, those takeaway strategies for instructional coaches. So that's been such a, um, a fun and exciting work. And you're exactly right. I am writing a, a new book for Solution Tree. It is called Renaissance in Education, and it's really focused on the, and this is more of a student instructional um, book for students. Well, it's for teachers, but it's really focused on how do we help students develop those habits of mind and focusing on those critical thinking skills, on creativity, but really looking at education from a, a systematic lens and how do we change it at the systematic level to be able to do these really bold and innovative things. So um, it's also looking at the work of Leonardo da Vinci and looking at how he approached wow. he a, a famous polymath. So taking some of those concepts that, that really helped him be um, the thinker, the scientist, the artist that he was and extracting that kind of ideas in that pedagogical kind of framework and overlaying it on top of how we as teachers frame learning for students. So it's really exciting and I'm excited to, to be a part of this kind of new book. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's fun to see the, the progression from instructional coaching to now really focusing yeah. on helping students really cultivate their own curiosity and critical thinking. Yeah, it's full circle, which is so yeah. exceptional. And I am, I know that the audience members are probably equally as excited as I am to hear more around your book, Renaissance Learning, Renaissance Teaching. Have we decided on a title yet, Nathan? Are we still Renaissance, working that out? Renaissance and Education is, <laughs> is what we're at right now. So but who knows, you know, um, when we get through the editing process, there might be uh, another title. So, you know, we're going to go with this one. But um, yeah. that's, that's what we that's what we're doing right now is we're writing towards. And um, so it great. is. It's, it's yeah, it, I'm, it's one of the, the most challenging books I have ever written, uh, oh, wow. only from the perspective of just um, the level of, um, of thinking that uh, students can um, really access and how do we change our practice at a level where students can open up a whole new level of thinking. Which I think is totally relevant for where we are right now in this moment. We need that in educational practices. Yes. We really do. And so I really commend you for recognizing that need and really, you know, leveraging your tools, your resources to really put that out for our audience members. So back to FETC, I totally got on a tangent there, which we all know I like to do. I apologize for that. But please check out Nathan at the FETC. His session, um, again, is integrating technology into the classroom authentically, thoughtfully, and strategically. Lots of great takeaways. You've got to go see him. He will be there uh, Wednesday, uh, January 25th from 10 to 1045 in room 215 to 216, session number C. 066. And again, if you want to come hang out with me, I'll be at uh, the Global PD teams, the EdTech booth. I'm going to be doing demos of Global PD. I'd love to show you Nathan's work. I can give you a customized demo and really show you how to leverage everyday instructional coaching, coaching to the full depth. And again, show you some of his reproducibles that can really help you lead to a uh, some great results at your school. So Nathan, thank you so much again. And we are looking for to that book in 2023, Renaissance Education. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you so much. And you have a great day. Anything else, Nathan, that you want to leave them with? 
Thank you so much, Jocelyn. No, I just am, am so impressed with just our educators of today really persevering through the challenges that we have. And so um, I just wanted to thank all educators just for the tremendous amount of work that they've done for their students. And I hope to connect with you at FETC. Wonderful. All right. Thank you so much, audience members. See you at FETC.